my channel. Today is just kind of a lighthearted get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go on a date with my hubby and I figured it'd be fun to turn on the camera and just get ready with you guys and talk to myself in the camera, you know? I mean, who doesn't want to do that? And I also do my hair on camera so you guys can see kind of how I've had quite a few of you ask me to do like a tutorial on how I get this larger curl. So later on in the video, I will show you guys how I do my hair, but yeah, that's just like a lighthearted kind of chit chat, get ready with me and yeah. So I hope you guys are excited about the video and I'm gonna stop talking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get ready. We're just gonna chit chat. There's a lot to talk about, like a lot has happened and I do kind of have a toothache, like, back here it's not like a toothache it's where my gums uh you know where like your wisdom teeth are supposed to come in mine never come in which is totally fine with me but the gums swollen and so it kind of hurts i do need to put some primer on though i'm gonna grab this this is the uh backstage uh primer from dior but the reason why i'm using this is because I'm actually gonna use the, the uh, Pat McGrath foundation and the reason why I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath foundation, you guys know that this foundation didn't really work for me very well. This is one of those foundations that I can't wear for very long. It looks gorgeous for about six hours and then after the six hours, it looks crappy and it starts to kind of break away from my face. So I have noticed that these two are a really good combination and because it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, I've been busy all day. It's a Saturday and I have been busy just doing housework and five million loads of laundry. Like, I don't know where all that laundry came from because it's just the three of us, but I don't know. So I've been noticing that these two are a really good combination because I don't need the foundation to last like for many hours. Um, you know, why not get use out of this expensive a bottle of foundation? I'm trying to find ways to wear it because I spent so much money on it. And conveniently enough, I have two bottles of it. <laughs> Long story, Pat acted like, you know, it was only gonna be exclusive on her website, so you get better get it quick. So I ordered it. It didn't come for three weeks, by the way. But after waiting about a week, it became available on the Sephora website. So I went ahead and ordered a bottle from Sephora so that I could get the review up as quickly as possible. I have shade 18 and shade 15. Shade 15 is definitely my shade during the winter. 18 is kind of dark actually, and it works pretty good for the summer. I got this new brush from Refer. So I met with one of the owners of Refer and they have been giving me so many good brushes. I'm so excited to share them with you guys because oh my gosh, I found some good brushes. But this brush he just gave me, this is the P24, and it works so good to like buff in foundation. Mm, mm, mm. So I just put a pump right here and we're just gonna go in. Lots to talk about. I am wondering how you guys feel about the new Jaclyn Hill launch. Like, do you guys want me to review it? Is it something you guys are interested in? Because I've had a lot of you guys send me messages, like DMs on Instagram you know, saying, oh my gosh, I wanna hear your thoughts on this. And I'm totally fine with getting it and reviewing it. Um, it does look like it's a pretty nice highlighter. Like I do like the setup and I like the packaging and stuff, but it, you know, she did say that it was made in Italy. My question is, it's kind of expensive for what it is. And don't get me wrong, I know that's, a, that's crazy coming from me that spent $45 on one highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. So I understand that, but Charlotte Tilbury is an established brand and, you know, she's kind of earned that luxury brand. You know what I mean? Like she's earned that title, I guess. And, you know, Jaclyn Hill hasn't been in it very long and the first launch didn't go so well. So I'm just kind of wondering if it's actually going to be worth the $49 because the palette is $49. I think the single highlighters are like $35 or $32 or something like that. I will put a poll up here in the iCard. So all you got to do is just click up here on the corner of your screen and just vote really fast. This foundation is so beautiful when I first apply it. Like if it would stay like this for even like eight hours, maybe 10, I would be loving this foundation. This is a new concealer. I'm gonna be reviewing this, but I wanna try it tonight and see what it does. So this is from Clay de Peau. This is from that fancy Clay de Peau. Everybody has talked about this concealer being like the bomb. It's very expensive, it's like $70. And it comes in a stick. I got it in the shade Ochre, I guess is what it is, I don't know. 
this is what the shade looks like and people swear by this concealer now it does kind of feel a little bit drying so I did go ahead and put a little bit of my Tatcha Silk Peony um, eye cream on my eyes before I went in with my foundation and primer and stuff. But this seems like a concealer that would be best applied with like a brush and then like smoothed out with a finger. So I'm just gonna grab some here on this brush. I'm gonna be testing this out, so I'll be giving you guys the 411 on it, but. I mean, at that price, it better make me look freaking 20. You know what I mean? The first time I heard about this was on the WTF, the Tati. Uh, you know how she used to have that series, the WTF? I was talking to um, the lady at Nordstrom's a couple of weeks ago and I asked her, I said, what is your favorite, all time favorite concealer? And she was like, the Clay Depot. I was like, really? But it does look really pretty. Like it kind of melts into my skin. Mm, I kind of wanted to not like it, you know? It's one of those that I just didn't want to like, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna finish putting some on this eye and then I'm gonna put some brows on and I will come back and we will, you know, finish the rest of my makeup, but dang, this is pretty. And I'm just taking a little bit of it at a time and just kind of painting it on, basically. I'm not putting that much on. It is time to continue on because I hate my brows so much that I hope that I can make my eye makeup look decent enough to kind of take the focus off my brows. Oh, my brows have been really driving me crazy lately. It's just been one of those things that I'm just like over, you know? Also, I did order the Pat McGrath Divine Rose, which was kind of a shit show. Like, oh, I don't, here's my thing. I don't have anything against Pat McGrath, okay? I mean, don't, everybody don't get their panties all up in wad. I'm not talking trash about Pat McGrath. You know, she doesn't run the whole show. She's got people that does a lot of things for her. And those people were not smart with this whole, like, Divine Rose launch. Because I understand them launching it, you know, on Selfridges in the UK to give, you know, her home country a chance to get something. And I get that 100%. Like, I actually think it's pretty awesome when brands do that, you know? show some love to their hometown and home nation and all that. Okay, cool. So it briefly went on Selfridges and then it was out of stock. And then they told us on Instagram, oh yay, it's gonna come back into stock. You guys hang tight. Somebody, like one of the cut, one of the people, I don't know who runs her Instagram page. I know it's not Pat McGrath herself. She's got a team of people that do this for her. So one of her team members had posted and said that the palette would be available on November 7th. I can't tell you how many of us, meaning a lot of us, were on, you know, Instagram that day and just waiting to hear any news about this launch, you know? We were wanting to get our hands on it and nothing ever happened. I pretty much wasted that whole morning waiting for it. And then she announces that they're gonna have a meetup or a surprise or something in New York City, which is cool, but I'm like, okay, so where's the details about the palette? No information about the palette. The only thing that they would comment saying something's coming. So it's a limited edition palette and it's limited quantities. A lot of us were upset, but we moved on and, you know, we entered our email to be notified and yada yada. Well, then we don't hear anything about it for like a week. Nothing is said about this fan palette. So then, out of nowhere, a ton of people had messaged me and said, oh my gosh, the palette is back on the Selfridges website. Get on it and get it before it's gone, which I did, I mean, duh. So I get on there really quick, buy it from Selfridges, pay the $30 in shipping. Selfridges is kind of like their Sephora in the UK. Probably around 11.30, closer to midnight, when it was available on the Selfridges website. So I buy it, pay all that money, and then the next morning at seven o'clock in the morning, I get in, I get notified that it's going to be available that day from Pat McGrath. And I'm like, on the website, I'm like, come on. The way that they handled that, that launch was pretty unnecessary is how I felt. Like they could have just given us a date, let us know when it was gonna be available and called it a date. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this by Terry. I've been kind of playing around with this. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is the translucent. I didn't buy the colored because I had a hard time deciding which colored, which color I wanted to go with. And so I thought, well, I'll see 
I'll try the translucent and see if I actually like the powder. And then if I do, I will, um, you know, go ahead and get the colored one. But I just didn't want it to like completely change the color of my foundation and stuff. So I don't know. I was a little bit like, oh, what should I do? You know, the only thing I don't like is the packaging too. Like I wish there was a stopper inside of it. It doesn't have one of those like twisty stoppers, which is really kind of dumb to be honest with you. Now I'm putting on the um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. This is the highlighter in the shade Spotlight. It's one of those that it's liquid and so it really blends beautifully into the skin. I'm gonna set my face with some spray. I'm gonna grab this. This is the uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist. Time to play with eyeshadow and try to make these brows not so hideous. <laughs> I got my work cut out for me. So I'm gonna use the Naked Honey palette because I've been really, really loving this palette. I'm gonna start with the shade Keeper right here, and then I might go into Hive. So I might like mix these two shades. I don't go like too overboard when it comes to eyeshadow when my husband and I go on date nights. Like I do, but I kind of try to keep it a little bit like toned down. And honestly, he could really care less about like makeup. I think if I came out with like really, really bold eyelashes and like really bold brows and you know what I mean? He'd be like, oh, huh, okay, you know, but he doesn't really say a whole lot. I do really like this palette though. I talked about it in my October favorites and I think I also mentioned it in the Sephora cell video, but I am just surprised how much I like this palette. I was not expecting to love it. It was just one of those palettes that my friend Teresa's dad kept saying, Tara, you got to have this palette. You're going to freaking love it. And I kept saying, yeah, but it's gold. Like the whole palette is gold. What the hell am I going to do with a palette that the entire palette is gold? And she's like, I don't know, but I promise you, you're going to love it. And she was right. I want it to be just kind of like an easy but pretty look, you know, but kind of soft. <laughs> now I'm going to dip between drip and sting, I think. Yeah. Place that here on the outer corner, I think. And then, yeah, so definitely let me know what you guys are thinking about the whole Jaclyn Hill. Like, do you guys think that she is completely canceled? I mean, do you, are you just not interested? Like after the whole lipstick thing, are you guys just not interested at all? Or are you excited for her and want to give her a second chance? Like, I'm curious to hear, like, where you guys are at with it. I always like a good comeback story, and I don't know. I do think that there was some things that they could have done better when it came to that whole, you know, lipstick launch and stuff. It's kind of felt like there was some things that they could have done better, but I do know that it was their first launch, so, you know, you kind of learn as you go, but... I'm just really hoping that this launch goes better for her. I don't wish anybody to fail. And, you know, I do hope that it's successful for her. And, you know, she doesn't have any, you know, problems with this launch and everything goes good. Those of you that are just over it and maybe you feel like, you know, you've, you were done wrong. I know that there has been some things, people saying that they didn't get their refund. I got my refund. I got it pretty quickly, actually. After she announced that they were going to be refunding, I think I got my refund like that day. And so, you know, I mean, I don't know. But with that said, I, you know, if you guys are over it, I get it. Like, you know. We're all consumers at the end of the day. All I do is just turn on a camera and talk to you guys about it, but we're all in the same boat. We're all consumers. And you know, so I'm just curious how you guys are feeling about it. I'm gonna go into probably golden and queen. So queen is like a really pretty olive green tone. And then golden is obviously really golden. And I kind of want to mix them together. I think I'm gonna grab my highlighter. So I'm gonna grab this shade. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter. I'm gonna grab some of this. I'm gonna spray it. Oh yes, that highlighter is so pretty. It's so perfect too. I need to put some eyeliner on my upper waterline. So I'm gonna grab the Milk 
This is the CEO. And I just realized this has a sharpener. It took me all, like this is probably my third or fourth pencil and I never knew that it had a sharpener on it. So dumb. So this is the other side. Pull this and here's the sharpener. Yeah. Did not know that. So now I'm gonna go in with the lash primer. This one is the one from Dior and I have had this for probably a year. Like it lasts so much longer than mascara. It doesn't dry out like mascara does. And I love it. And I bought me a backup during the sale because it's so good. So let's move on to lips. I'm gonna put on my Christian Adette uh, Mel Thompson collaboration. This is in the shade Smooches. And I like this lip liner because it lasts forever. It's like waterproof. Well, I can't find the one I want. So we're just gonna go with the one I got. So I'm gonna first put on uh, Rose Gold, maybe, from Joey. Yeah, that's definitely not the color. Okay, so I did find Tan Lines. Tan Lines is the shade that I thought would go really pretty with this because it's kind of like really bronzy. I had these in a little pack from Joey, and I'm actually really enjoying them. All right, so now I'm gonna start on my hair. And now I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in my hair just to kind of get some of that root lift, you know? This one is the IGK Jet Lag. My daughter stole my Oribe or Arabi. I don't know how you pronounce it, but whatever. So I'm using this one. This one's not bad though. So I have two curling irons here. So I have, this is the inch and a half, I believe. Yeah, this is the inch and a half Conair. And then I have this, I think this is the inch and a half as well. I like the lift and the volume that the barrel gives, but I like to straighten my ends with this. So this is where I have my extensions. As you can see, I have these little pieces of extensions. So I'm gonna go through here. I probably won't add a lot of curl in this section, but I might add just a few curls, just a little bit. So I'll wrap the hair around the barrel. So I'm just gonna run this barrel all through this bottom hair. That curling iron helps to kind of give it the beachy wave because I can kind of straighten out the ends. Now you can do it with a straightener, but for some reason, the curling iron makes it look a little bit more natural. Straighten it with a curling iron, like straightening the ends with a curling iron versus an actual straightener. I don't know why, but it just seems like the curling iron works a little bit better. So this is where the curling iron comes into play. So see this piece of hair right here because I have layers in these extensions. So I'm gonna grab the end of this curling iron and just run it through, see? And then it straightens it without it looking kind of funky. Ugh, I for totally forgot my clip. 
So I'm working with what I got and this clip is not cutting it. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on all the way around and you know, obviously this is my real hair and my hair is a little bit shorter. My hair is layered as well too, just to kind of make all of the extensions blend in. So now I'm just gonna run the curling iron. Now I'm gonna run the barrel through the rest of my hair. So see how this is a little funky and it's pointing out? It just solves the problem. So if you guys have ever used the barrel and you don't like those ends being weird, grab another curling iron and straighten those ends out. It is like a lifesaver. Now focus on this part and just do the exact same thing. But see, I do not like how that curl goes out. Bugs the crap out of me. Boom. See, it just, it's like a lifesaver, you guys. Like if you guys have ever tried using the barrel and you hate the way the ends turn out, oh, it's like, seriously, it makes all the difference. And it just kind of makes that bottom part of the wave just like blend completely into the hair. See how it's pointing out weird? Boom, now it's blended, it's amazing. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure why I don't like using a straightener for this. I don't know, there's just something about the curling iron. It just makes it look so much more natural. I don't know. Okay, so now that I'm done curling it, now I'm just gonna kind of go in and mess with it a little bit and kind of get it where I want it, you know? This is my favorite hairspray. This is the Kendra, Kendra? Kendra, I used to call it Kendra because Kendra didn't make a lot of sense to me. This is it though. This is date night hair and I like the soft, kind of curls when it comes to date night hair where it's just kind of kind of soft around the face yeah that type of thing okay so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of date night get ready with me type of video i'm gonna go ahead and head off to dinner with my hubby thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for the love that you show me in my channel it means so much to me i hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and joy and i will see you guys in my next video and i love you all so much. Bye!